Hey you guys, it's Toya and thank you for watching Toya JTV. This is week 24, the final week of the series. This ends a six month series on how to grow your hair using or wearing nothing but wigs. It was started out as how to grow your hair wearing weave, but you can, you know, really is how to grow your hair with protective styling. My protective styling of choice was wigs. So every time I wore my wigs, I always had my hair braided. Okay, straight to the back like this. And to take care of my hair, um, I just kept it moisturized. So I used all of Silk Hydration, which is my product line. I used all the Silk Hydration products uh, to keep my hair moisturized, like the Extreme Moisture Shampoo. I used the Extreme Clean to get any product build up off of my hair, any dirt, any oil, any residue. And I also oiled my scalp in between the braids uh, multiple times per week. All right, you wanna do that at least three to five times per week. So what I'm doing right now is taking my hair down for the last time. Well, not for the last time, but the last time in this series. Taking my hair down from the braids and I will straighten my hair and we're gonna see how much it's grown now I did not measure my hair or anything like that but you know I'll be able to visually tell and if you've been watching this series from the beginning you can help me uh, you know to just visually see how much it's grown I know for a fact like this top part has grown so much this in the front um, you know, my hair had broke off in the front from just having a baby. It's called uh, postpartum alopecia, and it happens to a lot of women after they have a baby. You know, once as we're one when we get pregnant, our home hormones are everywhere. So after you have the baby, and your hormones are kind of trying to go back to normal, um, you know, that takes an effect on your body. So sometimes your hair may start falling out. You know, all, thing, all kinds of things happen to us when we're trying to, you know, create a whole nother person inside of us. So, but, you know, it's nothing that you can do to prevent it. It's nothing, you know, that you did to cause it. It just is what it is, you know. Mother Nature at her finest. So, um, again, I'm just taking my hair down and I'm starting. I'm using this wider tooth comb and I'm starting from the bottom and just working my way up and then once I get done I will uh, you know comb it all from the root all the way to the to the ends and somebody asked me why do you comb it from the tip to the root instead of the root to the tip so meaning why do you start at the bottom of the hair and comb up to detangle versus just starting at the top and working your way down. Well, when you start at the top and work your way down, you're putting more tension on your hair and you tend to pull a lot more, which can cause breakage. So you always want to start at the bottom and work your way up because you're not putting as much tension on the hair when you start from the bottom. Because uh, when you start from up here, you're pulling much harder than you would, um, you know, if you if you start at the bottom. See how I start at the bottom and I'm gentle and then I just work my way up? So that's what you want to do. So I am going to just finish this and I will be right back. All right, so I have finished taking my hair completely down. Um, so now at this point, I am just running through it. As you can see, I'm putting a comb on my root and I'm combing all the way through. And that's just to get any shedded hair out. Because if you don't get it out now, once it's wet, it will tangle up extremely bad. And that is a problem that none of us want. And my hair had been braided up for two weeks. Uh, so I'm going to show you how much came out during this process. 
Whoop, there it is. And again, remember, we shed up to 200 hairs per day. So if I had my hair up for 14 days, okay, times 200, that should be up to 2,800 hairs. This does not look like that, that many. So this is actually doing pretty good. Um, and remember, when you keep your hair moisturized, you can reduce uh, a lot of that. Especially if you uh, are prone to breakage and you know your hair is really dry. If you keep it moisturized by like oiling it in between, um, you know, you can reduce a lot of your breakage. And then also when you shampoo it, make sure you deep condition it and uh, moisturize it really, really well. Um, that's, the, that's all I did this entire series. I moisturized it really well uh, using the conditioners and the leave-in and the oil. All three of those. And then um, I just did that on a consistent basis so that it re great, drastically reduced um, my, any breakage that I may have. Um, and it also helped with the growth because all of this around the edges was super thin. I mean, look how much that's grown out. Okay. So that's from here. That's just that much growth. There was nothing here but just a couple of little strands. I could have probably did a little finger wave with my edges. You know, when you pull it back, you can see scalp all right here. But... You know, it still looks a little thin right here, but a hundred times better than it did. And see, this side is doing even better. See, these sides were pretty much identical. And this side, you can really see no scalp underneath that hair, around my hairline. See, look at that. It's just, it looks normal. Uh, before, it did not do that. And like I said, I just kept it oiled. Um, the oil that I've been using, I will have it for sale on the Silk Hydration website. But it's just a combination. And I'll go into more detail once I uh, put it up on the website. But it basically included a lot of oils that contribute to hair growth. So combining all of those together in one bottle, it just... You know, it helped it tremendously. Ooh, it feels good to scratch my scalp. Okay. So, what I'm going to do from this point is I'm going to go ahead and shampoo it. I'm not really going to go into the process of everything that I do because at this point, I'm just, y'all pretty much know the drill. Uh, if you're interested in me actually uh, silk pressing my hair out I'll do a whole separate video that's in more detail um, with that but from this point I'm going to shampoo condition and you won't see me again until the finished product is ready all right so I'm going to work some magic if I was not a professional I probably would be a little worried at this point because this is a lot of hair to handle uh but luckily I do this for a living. So um, I'm going to come back. Uh, oh wow. It's coming down pretty long. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Y'all know how it is when you uh, have a lot of natural hair and it shrinks. I have a lot of shrinkage. Uh, but anyway. I'm going to make some magic happen. Here's my magic wand. Doo. Alright you guys, so my hair has been straightened and it's grown pretty long. I can actually grab it from back here. So, um, I mean it doesn't seem to have grown as much as I thought it did, but I can see where it did grow. Now, I'm going to tell you, your hair normally grows at half an inch a month. So if I've been doing this series for six months, then my hair should have grown at least three inches because you divide six in half to get three okay then i did trim 
So I trimmed about an inch off, which I'm probably going to get some more trim because I like for my ends to look just blunt straight across. So if I trim another inch or half an inch off, that's an inch and a half. Let's just say I trim another inch and a half off. So three minus 1.5 is 1.5. So that's only an inch and a half, maybe that much of growth. Okay. So however much you trim does play a part in retaining your length so even though i grew we also saw my new growth so we know that it grew okay but the actual length that i retained was maybe one and a half to two inches uh which two inches is about this much so that's a that's a difference and i do see a difference in my hair like i said i can actually grab it from behind and you know right here this is about where that my, you know, whatever that bone is right there in my uh, upper back. I can feel it about right there. Um, but I do have one confession to make. Doing that series on um, wearing wigs for six months, it kind of got me addicted to wearing weaves. So now that I have my real hair out, it's like, mm -mm, I, I just want to go run and put a wig on. I mean, I like... I do like that my hair is healthy, it's thick, it's manageable, it's, you know, everything that I need it to be. But um, the weave is just so much more convenient. Uh, you know, having to actually flat iron my hair and all that, um, oof, I don't like that. I do prefer, I think I prefer to just get it braided and put a wig on, but we'll see. I'll prob probably go back and forth uh, with wearing the wigs and wearing uh, my real hair. All right, you guys, so I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, um, and I will see you all next time. Thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.